The Welsh Rugby Union has announced that Warren Gatland, Wales national coach, will be in charge of the team until 2019. The four-year extension to his current contract will provide coaching continuity up to the Rugby World Cup in Japan. I'm really excited about the uh, next six years, I suppose. I mean, f for me, it's uh, my contract was to 215, and then I've looked at the squad, um, looked at the opportunities here in Wales, looked at the talent coming through with the under 20s, under 18s boys, the squad that we've got at the moment, thinking you know, a lot of those players should be around to 2019. We've had some success in recent years, and to be honest, and to be perfectly certain, almost like um, selfish in terms of that, you know, it's something that I you know, definitely want to be a part of for the next, um, next six years. We're incredibly lucky, and uh, I know there's um, a number of accolades that, that I've personally received, but you only get that as a result of having good people around you and uh, got a fantastic coaching team and um, the support staff in terms of the medical team and strength and conditioners, analysts, um, management as well um, of the squad. Um, the the youth structures coming through in terms of the academy. I mean, those when you've got good people around you, it, it makes it easy to want to be a part of an environment and then to think about... Uh, you know the future, and for me, um, you know, when we initially sat down with Roger and we went through the potential about staying staying longer, it was ultimately it was, it was a pretty easy decision. I think the success is about um, consistency, you know, and I think maybe in the past there's been a bit of a roller coaster. You know, you've, you've seen everyone talks about a, a new dawn, and then all of a sudden it's it's not it's only there for a, a short period, and so we've. We've liked to think that we've sort of been steadily improving over over recent years. You know, we'll be honest and say some of the sometimes against the southern hemisphere, it's it's not as good as we'd like. Um, but we think we're closing the gap. We're knocking on the door. We feel like we've got a squad of players who honestly believe. And sometimes, if they would have been asked in the past and, and deep down, you know, is the belief real there? But I think a group of squad, a group of players who. You know, feel like if everything's right and, and they're fit and there's not too many injuries and they get a little bit of luck, they honestly believe they can win the next World Cup. And for me, that's that's a massive amount of progress. And so what we've what we've achieved has been great, great in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, it's sort of been you know, pretty special. I'd like to think we've put a smile on some some Welsh fans and 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 what the team's achieved overall has been has been pretty special. And so, you know, I, I realise the the importance of rugby in Wales and, and, and the team being successful but I think the, the Welsh nation have to be really proud of the, the group of individuals that are coming through at the moment and, and the way they represent their jersey and the way they represent Wales and uh, and so for me that, that's kind of when, when you hopefully a part of creating something you, you want to continue to be a part of it. There's a great amount of passion here in Wales and, and for, for sport as, as general and, and the thing about rugby is that um, and what I love about it is, uh, and it reminds me a lot of, of New Zealand, is, is the knowledge that people have, the passion they have, um, uh, and, and that makes it. And they don't always agree with me, and, and I and I, I love that. I don't I don't mind that, you know, is uh, because you know it's it's just about people's opinions, and so you know we try and do and make the decisions that we think are right. People disagree with us, and they disagree because. Um, they're pretty knowledgeable about uh, about the game, and I think that's for me that's healthy. It's it's really it's really um, I, I find that uh, you know interesting, and, and I and I don't have any any problem with that. And so you, you know, if you go out on and, and on the street and, you, and people come up and they talk to you and give you some advice or their opinion, that that's part of what living in Wales is about, and that's uh, and it makes it special as well. And it, and and you understand then the importance of. Um, the team doing well, and, and, and one of the things that you know, I've always focused on is, and I'd like to think we've got it right, right most times, is that those Welsh fans, if they if they go out and they see that team take the field and they see them give 100% and try hard, and even if you lose, um, they walk away pretty happy.